Good morning, all the kids. Welcome to meet me again. How are you today, everyone? So today I bring a continuous lesson, which is about classroom materials. Did you remember how many words all of you have learned with me in the previous lesson? I just review five words of English vocabulary of the classroom materials that I presented to all of you. The first one is protractor. Protractor. Second one, compost. Compost. The third one, set square. Set square. The fourth one, globe. Globe. And the fifth one or the last one is what? Everyone? Do you remember? The last one? Maybe you remember. I just keep it. I want all of you refresh your memory to to catch this word. I don't tell you. So today, before I start continue start to continue presenting other six words regarding classroom materials, let me introduce myself. My name is Pitpanya, as you have known me already. I am one of English teachers in CIA. CIA is abbreviation for Cambodia Intellectuals Academy. Today, regarding my lesson, I will show you the pictures in advance of moving to present or tell you or teach you about the words. And all the pictures are big enough that make all of you to see clearly. Now we go together. Ding ding, yeah. Before showing the picture, let me explain to you what the picture is, what the picture refers to. Do you know uh, the scotch tape? Scotch tape. Scotch tape. Scotch tape is a thin strip of sticky and usually transparent material used for joining things together such as paper or cardboard. I didn't waste the time, I will show you the picture. Can you see kids? Yeah? It is a roll of scotch tape. Scotch tape, scotch tape, scotch tape. Very good. Second picture is one of classroom materials, is one of the words of classroom materials that all of you have to know. You, I, I am pretty sure all of you absolutely understand or know the word in Khmer. It is our mother tongue language. But for English, today I will present this word. I will present this material and, and teach you or introduce the word to all of you. So. 
Everyone, can you see? Like this, no, yeah, it is the right side. I keep in the right side, right side position. What is it, everyone? Can you tell me? What is it? Yeah, it is a stapler. 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 One more time. Stapler. Do you know what is stapler used for? And what is the definition of stapler? But the four more definition, or the you have to know what the stapler used for. I will tell you the stapler is a device that we can put our hand yeah that we can hold it in our hand again just listen to me carefully stapler is a small device that we can hold it in our hand or put it on the table yeah to push the staples through pieces of paper yeah when we uh, we want to what to join the paper with the staples we push the stapler yeah the stapler yeah because you can see it's upper and lower mouth of staplers when we push like this and we can staple through the pieces of paper yeah yeah it is stapler Then we move to the third picture. Yeah. This picture, you can see it somewhere on the road or in your house or when you come to school, you will see it. It is a container. Yeah, it's a container made by uh, metal or rubber or plastic but no rubber this material is made by rubber is available in the market and what is this material or object used for I will show you yeah can you see everyone what is it what pi what picture is it it is a trash bin trash bin trash bin one more time trash bin and what is a trash bin used for trash bin is a container used for keeping or storing waste or rubbish or disposable objects like a, a objects that you uh, use already you throw it away yeah, you threw it away, but you have to throw it in the trash bin to keep your environment clean. Then throw your waste or rubbish on the ground. It is not a good habit. Yeah, we have to take care of our of our environment. So in order in order to, to keep our keep our env environment clean. All the kids, please, you put, yeah, you bring your rubbish or waste or disposable materials or objects, yeah, in the trash bin, yeah, trash bin, yeah. It is a third picture. All my students who study in CIA, they are required to buy this material. And now you can identify this material. What is it? Yeah, it is. They are. That's because one, two, three. 
the R3, you know, the R3 are these materials on on the paper. So I can say they are plastic folder. They are plastic folder. They are plastic folder. And what is the plastic folder used for? While or as the student who study in CIA, they required to buy this one. And you really understand about yeah about this material used for. So this this material used for holding or storing storing or keeping paper or document or other document or study materials yeah why we ask all of you students why you need to you need to use this material or this object it is a good way to keep your study materials safe yeah if you don't use this one you will waste it so I recommend all of you to use to use this material is plastic folder yeah can you catch up everyone can you catch up this word yeah very good after that I will show you another picture this picture is very common used in every activity in many kinds of activities for your student when you example when you attend the art study yeah you have to use this material this ma the, uh, this material is one of other materials for use for the art lesson I will show you right now yeah what is it everyone scissors 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 and what is scissors used for now I just present well, a little bit more uh, description about this material used for this, the, uh, this material used for cutting paper clothes hair yeah hair like this hair yeah hair consisting of two sharp blades you know it's a blade sharp blades it's very sharp yeah you can use it it will when you use it in the wrong way it could cut your fingers or your flesh consisting of two sharp blades with hole to put your fingers through yeah this a hole you can when you hold this material you can yeah you put your finger two fingers through through uh, the scissors holes and you can cut you can make it you can operate it to cut what to cut paper or clothes or hair or etc yeah and now move on to the last picture no no i'm sorry last picture just uh, yes last picture because today i uh, as i told you already i present only the five uh five pictures and the five words of of our classroom materials so now we move on to the last picture i'm going to show you everyone what picture is it what are they because not only one there are more than one yeah what are they yeah you can see yeah i am i'm pretty sure that all of you can see this picture clearly 
because because this picture is big enough in size. So I tell you, they are paint brushes. They are paint brushes. Yeah. And do you know what paint brushes used for? Or pa a paint brush used for? What is a paint? What is a paint brush used for? I just explained you only one paint brush. Yeah. I didn't waste the time. I will tell you about advantage or advantage or benefit of paint brush used for. The paint brush is a brush that used for putting paint on the surface or on picture. When you throw the picture, you, uh, there are many different uh, there are many different ways of throwing the pictures. If you prefer using uh, the pencil to throw the picture, yes, it is another way. And uh, another one way, you can paint your picture. You can draw your picture with the pen, with the paint brush. For yeah, for uh, modern countries, the student prefer every every class in every art class. The student, the teacher, always want the student to draw the picture by using the paint brush. Yeah, when you draw the picture with your with the paint brush, you have to spread your what? You have to spread the watercolor on a piece of paper, and then you put your pen brush on it, and then you draw the picture. Yeah, you, I, uh, yeah, I am sure that the picture will be more beautiful than, than uh, the, the picture drawn by the pencil. But it's my idea, I don't know about your idea. Depends on, on the drawer. Or the, or you, Paint your paint brush uh, can be used to to paint on the wall. Yeah, but not this one. This one is a small size. Another brush, another paint brush used for paint. We have to paint the color on the surface of the wall. On the wall, you use uh, you you use uh, it is a bigger size. Yeah, it is a little bit bigger size than this. Yeah, so. Now I go over to the beginning picture. Just all of you listen to me. I will read slowly from one picture to another to another. And then after that I will present all of you or introduce uh, uh, introduce uh, the word. Yeah, the word which Goes to the goes to every picture to each picture. So this one, Scotch tape, Scotch tape, Scotch tape, Scotch tape. And second picture, stapler, stapler, stapler. And the third picture, trash bin, trash bin, trash bin. And move on to the fourth picture. This one, plastic folder, plastic folder. And the next picture, picture number five, scissors, scissors, scissors. And the last picture, paint brush, paint brush. Very good. Now, I give you five seconds to practice reading. To press to, to practice reading, can you catch up my reading? Yeah, now I point to the picture and you and all of you read. Very good. I appreciate all of you. Can read all the words correctly. To, uh, in order to 
bring all of you to to be able to read to read the word to read uh, to to uh, to read yeah yeah to understand I'm sorry to understand this picture yeah I have to write down the word which uh, goes to each picture this picture scotch tape yeah S T S C T I'm sorry scotch T C H T A P E yeah scotch tape stapler the word stapler begin begins with letter S and then T A P L L E R stapler trash bin T R A S H B I N trash bin <coughs> And uh, picture number four, plastic folder, yeah. Plastic begins with letter P, P L A S T I C, plastic. Folder F O L D E R, plastic folder. This one scissors. The word scissors begins with or start with letter S and then C I S S O R S scissors <coughs> and the last picture pen brush the word pen brush begins with letter P P A I N T B R U S H. So now there are more. Yes, yeah, so there are many uh, brushes. So we we make we write this word in the plural as a plural. Paint brushes. When we read paint brushes. Yeah. So everyone. These are these words. These words go to yeah. I'm sorry. Each word goes to the picture. So this one scotch tape. Scotch tape. We write like this. Yeah. We write like this. Stapler. We write like this. Trash bin. We write like this. Yeah. You have to. Are identified plastic folder, yeah. We write like this scissors, yeah. Pen brush, pen brushes, yeah. So, or after, I will want all of you to spell this word, spell every word with me. Scotch tape. We spell or we write. S C O T C H T A P E Scotch tape stapler. Yeah, we write the stapler. We write S T A P L E R stapler. Trash bin. We write T R A S H B I am trash bin plastic folder we write P L A S T I C F O L D E R plastic folder scissors we write S C I S S O R S we read Scissors, paint brushes. We write P A I N T 
B A U S H E S paint brushes now I hope all of you will practice writing writing uh, all the six words after this lesson so today yeah before uh, today I just present only six vocabulary regarding the classroom materials the next time I will pick up another words that are engaged in classroom materials